MMAweekly.com, Eric Fontanez here with the Axe Murderer, Vanderlei Silva. Vanderlei, thanks for taking the time. Let's talk about UFC 139 and your fight with Kung Lee. Um, what kind of problems do you anticipate going into this fight with Kung? A good fight. I hope we, we make a, a good performance for the fans. And I think we're going to have one stand-up fight. I don't know. Because he's coming from kickbox. I like to fight in stand-up too. I think we're going to have a good, good, good fight. Now, he is probably one of the hardest kickers we've ever seen in mixed martial arts. Have you thought about that in your training camp, and have you done anything to prepare for that? Yeah, we train with a lot of guys from Taekwondo, from, from that, a lot, of, a lot of good kickers, for, for try to be ready for him. And this fight is in San Jose. Obviously, this is where he's from. He has a huge fan base out here, but you have a huge fan base worldwide. Who do you think uh, people are going to be cheering for once uh, UFC 139 gets here? I hope you guys cheer for me too. No, I have a lot of fans over here, and I'm going to try to to make the fans happy here. And with a good performance, you know, and I think the, the guys going to like my performance. Now, in your last fight against Chris Lieben. Uh, you know, it didn't go your way, but it's been a while since then. What have you done differently to prepare for Kung Lee versus what you did for Chris Lieben? Anything different in camp? Yeah, I trained more of my defense, and the other things we trained the same. A lot of jiu-jitsu, a lot of rest, and we train all. We are ready in all situations. And you've been in this game for a very long time, obviously one of the fan favorites. Have you thought about how the end of your career is coming and have you given any thought to, to hanging up the gloves anytime soon? Man, I think in my fight, I'm going to fight one, one fight each time right now. And I feel good. I have a lot of, a lot of things happen outside, the, the, outside the, the octagon. One of my next steps, I'm going to make it one, well, my dream is I make one MMA gym free. No, the guys don't pay nothing to training. On, 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 well, because a lot of guys can't train because they don't have money, you know? And sometimes that guy is the guy who may be a champion because I am one of that guys. Before I don't have money to pay and be a champion, you know? I'm going to try to give you the opportunity for everybody training me and maybe be a champion again. Maybe, maybe champion too. It's very selfless of you, uh, um, but you've been training over at King's MMA a lot, haven't you? Yeah, I trained the Kings, a really good camp. The guy, a lot of good guys over there. And in Kings, and Munoz Gym, and, and in my gym in Vegas, and in Van Gym, we have uh, 50 amateur guys over there. I make 50 guys this year, and I have 15 pro. And it's so good. I have a good camp, and I'm ready. Tell me about training with Rafael Cordero again. How much has he helped you in preparation for this fight? Has he been a big influence for you? A lot, man, because he's um, my coach for 20 years. He know me, and, and I love training for him. He's a, he's, a, he's a really good, really good coach. And he look at me, he know what and what I can do. And he's a really good man. I, I love training for him, and I, and I hope my son one day training for him too. Is he going to be a little junior axe murder? I, I hope so, because I try to push him to train. He trained jiu-jitsu, he trained wrestling. And he's a, I, try, I try to make it, well, I try to put him in the game, you know. This is a hard sport, but this sport is growing up a lot, growing a lot. And my dream is now I have like a 15 years old and start to train right now because... Really? Man, now, now is other other time, other moment. And you, so you training, you, you training box, you training... I was Jiu Jitsu, all martial arts, still training, open your eyes to MMA because we have just the first fight in Fox last weekend. Right. The game just started. The guys think, ah, MMA is big, it's big. No, MMA just start, and I, I, I thinking, so you want to you wanna to be a professional fighter, believe in our gym, and keep it going. Are the kids better than Vanderlei yet? Man, he's good. <laughs> he's good, and... And I hope him he going to that way. He work with the sport is great in America. Here we have a lot of support. We have a lot of fans. And I hope one day him have fans like the fans can I have, the best in the world. Well, good luck with that, Vanderlei, and good luck at UFC 139. Thanks for talking with MMAweekly.com today. Thanks so much. And you want to talk to me at the one FC on Twitter? You can follow me. You have my news. 
some some good good, good things and good advice. Thanks so much. Have a good day and God bless. Thanks, Mandy.